the experiment with the capacitor. One of the capacitors has actually blown up. I didn't even have the time to do the introduction of the video. Smoke still comes out of the casing. That is the 680 ohm resistor. It's acted like a fuse and the 300 volts capacitor has exploded. 300 volts AC working voltage. It has gone pop. Okay, that pop must have happened before 92. Um, the other capacitor is still in there. With the resistive network. The event counter on the left, a 24 volt relay controlled by my master clock. And yeah, after the explosion, that is the four 47 nanofarad 1 kV capacitors. And the blue LED is the resistive one. It's 2024 hours on the 19th of October. I just missed all the eights for the pity. First setup is uh, LEDs on a test. The red one on the left is on 200 mi uh, nano, so 0.2 micro. The middle one is on an X2 capacitor, and the right one LED is on a 0.1 cap, the one which blew up. And then the blue LED is on a uh, resistive network. We'll just see what happens. Counter 199. Not a good sign, the breaker has popped again. Counter stuck on 332. Okay, I'm gonna lift the lid. Ooh. 300 volt capacitor has popped in the series resistor. This capacitor has not exploded like the other one. <coughs> but it def definitely proves to have the right voltage rating capacitor, or at least an X2, preferably at least twice the RMS value. Just a quick interim update, the LEDs in the capacitor cell still going fine after 3449 impulses. Power supply 20 volts, 22 volts. These LED is still going fine. Nearly 10,000 impulses, and I'll keep maintain this test till uh, 10,000 impulses. 13,164 events on the LED tests with the capacitors. Uh, it proves the fact that uh, a capacitive system system can be used, provided the capacitors are mains rated like an uh, X2 capacitor, 250 RMS or higher or like 1KV AC capacitors, so also quality capacitors but, uh, that system works and of course the resistive network does nothing wrong with that in this case 2 times 27 kilo ohms 1 watt and just uh, blocking diet behind the LED comes out by pulsey Current for all three LEDs is about 24 milliampere, and I measured them individually as well. 15 milliampere, that's what a red LED by itself on the say, nearly 0.2 microfarad, and it got a 1k resistor in series. 9 milliampere is for the low efficiency. 
Um, red LED with the 0.1 micro and it's next to a capacitor. And about 4 milliampere recorded by the blue LED running on the resistive circuit 54 kilo ohms in series and the blocking diode of course. The pulse count stands at 14,614 events. Kids. Get good spots, eh? First 11, 11. Just winding up the survey now, and I'll uh, post this uh, tonight on YouTube. The LEDs are still going.